It's really wonderful to have you here with us tonight. Um, perhaps you can start by telling us a little bit about how you got involved in this wonderful project. Yeah, my name is Tapelo Mutsumi, one of the photographers that's showcasing his work here at the gallery. For me, I started two years ago, you know, we were involved in this project from uh, at the World Cup 2010. So we had to, they came, John and West, they came to our school to come and teach us the fundamentals of photography, actually how to change your lives through photography and how to make a living through photography. So for me, it's been, it's been a wonderful journey being involved in it. Before you became involved in this project, did you have much experience with cameras and photography before or did you have to learn everything from scratch? I had to learn everything from scratch. I've never had the camera in my life. So the minute that they granted me the camera, they were giving me another life which I never had. So this is my first time I should hold a camera. We've been enjoying the many beautiful photos here tonight. Um, which photographs are yours and do you have a particular favorite shot, a particular image that you're very proud of? Yeah, well, one of the shots that I'm actually proud of, it's behind me. This is one of my shots that I took at, at Fan Parks. This is a special, sh it's a special shot because this is when Chawalala scored the first goal of the World Cup. So I just waited for this guy to actually celebrate that and I got it. And for you, what is, what is the essence of a great photo? What, what makes a photograph truly brilliant? I think what makes a, a photograph brilliant is when, when someone looks at a picture, it has a meaning to it, you know, it's not just the sake of taking pictures, but you actually try to tell a, tell a story about what you're doing. Do you think that photography has the power to give people a voice who maybe otherwise would not have one? Yeah, I think you, you are able to express yourself through pictures, telling a story, being a, story, a storyteller yourself. It really are, and being there, you're able to touch other people's lives with what you do. You have obviously taken many fantastic photographs of your own. Are there any other photographs that have inspired you? Any images that you have seen in other places that other people have taken that have stayed with you and inspired you? Yeah, one of my favorite photos is when it was taken in 19, 1976 by a guy called Sam where He was the first person who took the Hector Peterson picture holding a child. That's one of my favorite pictures and that's something that I always keep. That's something that I always look up to every time. I have it on my wall. It's in my house. Clearly tonight's exhibition has been a great success. Are you still very busy taking photos? Is that something you're going to keep doing for the rest of your life now? I, I think, yeah, it's something that I have to do. Just continue taking pictures and start developing a signature style. Even if I'm no longer, people when they look at my images, they'll be able to see Tapelo through there. Just a sense of a signature style. That's something that I've been, I'm willing to just to create and go on, just make it. My final question, if people are watching this and they want to take their own photographs, what one piece of advice would you give them? What is the best thing you have learnt as part of this project? I think it's not just being a, don't be a snapper. Know what you want out of the picture and then you can go for it, you know. Just tell yourself, I have to perfect what I'm doing. Then develop the skill of doing that. You can be good, but you have to be good at it. Thank you so much for talking to us and for these amazing images. Uh, we wish you all the best and hopefully we'll see many, many more photographs from you in the future. Thank you, sir. It's been Thank a you very much.